hey girls welcome back to another vlog so guys i'm just leaving the post office um i just want to open the vlog up and say just again send a very 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 special thank you to all of the bombshells who've purchased a wig for me um i see you guys leaving these so oh my god y'all these messages that y'all leave with uh so you guys are leaving notes when you're purchasing a wig and y'all girls those notes are so sweet oh my god i y'all i feel so loved i'm just opening the vlog up because i'm so happy i feel so loved and um the unfortunately the uh system that i use baby <laughs> i'm sorry guys i got a little distracted because you know houston traffic but anyway um the system that i use does not allow me to respond back to the messages that y'all are sending but just know that i'm getting all of y'all's messages uh oh my god i cannot man i could sit up here and say what did i do to deserve an amazing community like y'all but i know that i've worked hard and i've been a good person i'm a giver i'm kind i'm loving and i'm positive and i so i deserve y'all but sometimes you just you just can't believe that it's other people like you in the world you know what i'm saying and it's just like i feel so blessed so anyway i wanted to open the blog up and say that and then the next thing i want to say is this message is to all of my content creator bombshells honey i just want to say guys number one don't stop number two it is just so, so, so important that, that you're adding value to your audience. And so what I noticed is that is that in the last blog, we talked about resume content and, uh, you know, I gave you guys some resume tips and stuff like that. YouTube loves that type of stuff. And what I've noticed since that video dropped, number one, my engagement is up. Number two, I've noticed that I've gotten more subscribers and number three I've noticed that my revenue went up significantly and so you know I know sometimes people just be like um, they want to see relatable content which my content is but relatability is good but intentional content is better you know and 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 i'm gonna be honest with you you get rewarded for stuff like that so so to all of my creator bombshells if you guys even if you vlog and most of your content like mine is just vlogging if you guys are good at finance if you have history or if you have experience in the medical field technology or whatever it is guys whatever your if you are a SME and a SME is a subject matter expert Make sure you're educating your audience because YouTube rewards you for that. You know, um, I'm very passionate about resume and career and stuff like that, but I did get away from that for a while. You know what I'm saying? Longer than I anticipated. So make sure you guys are being intentional with your messaging, intentional with your content. Oh, and another thing I want to tell y'all, YouTube love like cooking and baking channels too. They love cooking, baking channels. If you guys are good at making charcuterie boards, y'all start incorporating what you know that you know that you know that you good at. Because baby, one thing about me, baby, what, one thing about me, I can stand on business. When it comes to talking, giving you guys advice about uh, cover letters, interviewing, resume tips, I, I'm cold-blooded and I know I am and I'm extremely confident in my information So whatever it is that you know that you're good at and you feel extremely confident in and you cannot be challenging that Because you you know you the the best that ever done it and you know that you the goat put that stuff in your content Make sure that you're adding tags start to now Incorporate just a little bit more every time you drop a vlog. It don't have to be a big long section It can just be maybe like five minutes of you showing your audience something of what you know that you're good at do that and girls i assure you i guarantee you will start to see growth so yeah but anyway girls we are about to go in ross and we're only going in ross because i'm looking for again some very specific cleaning products because we're doing a clean with me i know y'all like those types of videos so we're going to be doing a lot of cleaning and stuff in this video so let's head off uh go into ross and then uh see what we can find 
all right girls i know that that is this is not why we are in here but y'all look at this painting it's taller than me now girls i am five foot three so this thing is huge i'm gonna see if i can get <laughs> i'm gonna see if i can get me standing next to it now look oh my god and this is literally it's on the floor or it's on yeah it's on the ground so it goes all the way down so y'all it is sixty dollars this one is really pretty too i actually like this one a little bit better but uh that one is sixty dollars as well y'all look at this one it is so pretty so the camera is not doing it any justice it is gorgeous and i love the fact that it's textured right up in here so it is really really pretty let me see this one behind it uh that one is okay it's textured but i don't like that one as much y'all this is so cute oh my goodness i love this y'all y'all already know i love to decorate oh my goodness but Oh, they got two of them. Any of my girlies that if you just moved, if you're in the process of decorating, y'all do not sleep on Ross. I know a lot of the gurus don't like Ross because they feel that it's disorganized. And uh, I, I get it, but if you really want to try to find some good deals at a really good price, just don't sleep on Ross. That's all I got to say. These lamps are cute, but again, the camera isn't doing them any justice. All right, girls, I know we supposed to be in here buying cleaning supplies, but listen, baby, when I tell y'all the candle collection is killer today, they got some great candles. So we're actually gonna go with these three. I have this one at home already, and it smells amazing. Uh, this one, girl, sea foam, it smells so good. And then we're gonna get sea salt, but wait a minute, y'all. If you guys have a Ross near you, please check to see if you guys have uh, these room sprays. First of all, look at the packaging and the aesthetics, okay? They look so luxurious and so sophisticated, but baby, this French lavender, this here, this shit right here, this the one right here, girl, y'all, it smells amazing now. They also have this in uh, teakwood vanilla, but I don't like that one as much, and which is crazy because normally I like more of a woodsy scent, but I absolutely love this one a lot. It kind of has like a little bit of like a masculine kind of smell. It kind of smells like, honestly, girls, mahogany teakwood. I don't know why, but it does. Girls, I don't know who needs to hear this, but baby, one thing about me, as a woman, do you you got one time to come to me as a woman, and if you come to me as a woman, I'ma believe you, and I'ma believe you, and I'ma leave Big Rufus. I have always been like that, and I know it's probably people that be like, "Girl, so you gon' you gon' let another chick get you off your square?" Yup, yup, Shaw Wheels, yup, in my white tee, I sure am. <laughs> I sure am, like. I don't know what it is, especially if you think about the way that uh, another woman will come to you. And guys, this is coming off of the heels of a movie that I watched today on, uh, it was a Lifetime movie. And basically the light, this lady, she met a guy, she was decorating his house or whatever. So then his ex uh, had, I guess, like ran into her. I don't know how the ex found out who this particular, the new lady was. And so she was like, just be careful. You know, John is very controlling. He's abusive. You know, he used to be very abusive towards me and he used to do X, Y, and Z and all of this kind of stuff. And so the girl, um, she was like, I don't believe you. That's not his character. So the lady was like, well, if you ever need anything or if you ever want to talk, I'm just going to leave you my number so the lady left her number or whatever and eventually the lady uh the decorator or the interior designer she just happened to i don't know what made her reach out maybe i'll go back and watch the story again but anyway so she said i'll um i will she anyway so she ended up reaching out to the lady but even after she reached out, out she some kind of way ended up still telling the lady she didn't believe her so anyway as time progressed the interior uh, decorator also had a partner, which was a, a male. And he was telling her the same thing, like that guy, John is weird. 
And you know, everybody was trying to warn her. She didn't believe him. And girl, she was just going, you know, going along. And then until he, she started to see, to see the signs. And when she started to see the signs and was seeking people out, um, the best friend, the well, her business partner had gotten hurt. The other girl that came to her to warn her that he was abusive, she ended up um, being uh, no longer living at the hands of this man. He ended up having a wife in a whole nother city. So then the interior designer went to the city and was like, your husband is living a double life. And the lady was like, oh, you're lying. For me, if a woman ever came to me and told me that a guy was abusive or he didn't take care of his kids, he's not paying child support, um, he's manipulative, he's a narcissist, whatever it is. Um, especially if this is someone that dated him. I don't care if she, if her intent is malicious and her intent is just to get him back. Baby, I don't give a damn. You can have him. You can have Big Rufus, sis. I don't care. Um, and then too, and it, or either if it's someone... Like, I know a lot of people be like, oh, that's just his, uh, oh, oh, my baby mama, my baby mama, she just bitter, she just bitter. Okay, but my thing is, it's like, how does she even have access to you to get access to me to get my contact information? That in itself is drama. And like, one thing about me, I don't do drama because I just be feeling like that's just going to cause so much conflict in my life. It's going to, and it's going to. It's going to cause so much destruction and so much imbalance. And I don't live my life like that. Like, guys, I live a very peaceful, quiet life. I don't care what it is. I'm going to be honest. I don't care what it is. I don't care. I don't care. The, just the idea that a woman, another woman came to me about Big Rufus, I'm out. I'm sorry. Like, I'm trying to think of a circumstance where... I could be like, eh, but no, there is no circumstance again, because even if this lady is lying, even if she's lying, that's going to be so much drama in your life. Like, even if she want him back and she's going to cause so much chaos, so much confusion, so much vitriol, it's not even going to be worth it trying to build with this man. And I'm like, uh-uh. Ah, ah. Okay, 
Uh, I'm just trying something different out with a different tripod. But anyway, y'all had to get my wig together, guys. This is the same wig that uh, had all of those, uh, had lost all of the hair. Um, and I went back and revamped it again. What I ended up doing is taking some hair, old leftover hair that I had, and girl, literally just cut the hair into smaller pieces and I sewed it onto the lace instead of gluing it onto the lace because the glue, it kept coming, like the tracks kept coming off every time I would take the wig off. So I was like, you know what? I need a permanent fix. So baby, we got the needle and the thread going and this is how it looks girls it is so gorgeous and then um like after i went and i sold the tracks onto the lace i literally just went in with that blow dryer that you guys saw and i just blow dried the wig so we could just loosen the curls up because you know we had a lot of product build up and stuff and i just i didn't feel like rewashing it and uh, I wanted to put a little bit more body back into the wig. And I was able to do that with that blow dryer, girls. I'm going to show y'all the blow dryer later on in the vlog. But if you guys have a Ross near you, y'all need to get that. I didn't think that that blow dryer was going to be that good. But girl, it is. And it just makes what I like about it. It makes your hair so freaking shiny. And then um, it dries wigs really, really fast. They have like different combs and stuff. But anyway, I love it. So girls, this is what I wanted to talk to y'all about is, uh, you know, how things are going with my therapy. Um, I did take a week off the last time I had a therapy session. I was a little, in a little bit of a slump. And so I chose not to do therapy this week because I just needed to sit down and process my feelings about you know a lot of things it's processing my feelings about everything i just came to the resolve of like girls being indifferent about things is more powerful than getting mad getting angry having hateful thoughts you know um i also i'm i feel like once you once you come to the resolve of feeling indifferent about something, to me, that's a key indicator that you are healing. And the reason why I say that is because, you know, two months ago, three months ago, it was still things that really, really hurt me that I couldn't even talk about without crying. You know, um, just really painful things, you know. And now when I think about those things, I don't, I don't feel any any kind of way. I don't feel angry. I'm not mad. I'm not sad. I don't I don't care. I don't even care to speak of those things. You know what I'm saying? Even though I don't I can't say that. I think I just worked. I think I just thought about some of the things that hurt me. And looking back, it's like Oh my gosh, that was that was so painful. But now it helped me. You know what I'm saying? And that, that I hate that. I hate that sometimes the lessons you have to learn in life are the most hurtful. You know what I'm saying? Like I hate that things that hurt you help you the most. Because it's like I don't know if you guys do that this, but I just be like, but I'm nice, I'm a good person. I'm sweet. I'm a giver. I'm I'm a soft little cotton ball, except for when I'm in traffic. You know, I I mean I can be I can be a savage and that type of stuff, but that's not innately who I am. You know what I'm saying? And so sometimes you know you just feel like because you know that you're a woman of valor, you know that you're a woman of integrity and that type of stuff, you just don't understand why something so hurtful and so painful happened to you. But it is so sad, guys, but really it is a rite of passage and we have to go through these things to teach us, you know, and so um, 
if any of my girlies out there are going through anything, I just want to let you guys know, like it may not, you may not see and understand why it's happening now, but in about a month or two, or maybe less, depending on the lesson that you have to learn out of it, you'll be appreciative of those things. And then the, the even better than you being appreciative of them, you ain't going to feel no kind of way about the person that did it. You ain't going to be mad. You ain't going to be sad. You ain't going to wish nothing bad on them. None of that. You just going to be done. You know, and again, you're just going to be, you'll just be indifferent about it. And uh, baby, let me tell you something. I thought silence was powerful. Baby, indifference. Baby, that's a whole, when you unlock, when you unlock the level of indifference, I ain't gonna lie, baby, that's, that's, what Chris Brown say, I am on a whole nother level. <laughs> you be on, baby, I'm telling you, listen, when you unlock the level of achievement of indifference, baby, baby. <laughs> baby, baby. <laughs> when I tell you ain't nobody going to be able to tell you nothing, I feel really, really good. I feel powerful. What I used to do is weaponize my silence. You know what I'm saying? Like, that's one thing about me. I don't know if it's because I'm a Capricorn, but baby, one thing about me, I'm going to get quiet on your ass. I'm going to get quiet on you. And, and typically, once I go quiet on you, I'm done. You know, I don't, I'm not like, I don't like to argue. I'm not an arguer type of, I'm not going to argue with you. I'm going to be honest, like in my relationships, I would weaponize that. I wouldn't, and I wouldn't necessarily be done, but I knew like my silence was so powerful that I would be able to win whatever it is that I needed to or wanted to win because I was able to just be silent. When you weaponize your silence, it's called stonewalling. And it's just something, unfortunately, guys, it's something that I learned uh, when I was really, really young. I used to be uh, really, really bad. And I used to be, I used to fight a lot. I know y'all can't believe that, but I did. I used to fight a lot. And I would catch a whooping for fighting. You know what I'm saying? And so it's like, I knew that if I fought, I would get in trouble. So what I did, I wouldn't fight, but I just wouldn't talk to your ass. You could sit next to me on the school bus. We could sit next to each other in class. It wouldn't matter. I would literally treat you like you were invisible. And so then I learned, I was like, wait a minute. My silence is more powerful than my violence. I know you fucking lying. <laughs> I realized like when I would get quiet and I wouldn't talk to people, that would make them like really try to like be my friend or be whatever uh, I, I needed them or wanted them to be. And sometimes I would, you know, kind of let up and be friendly again. And sometimes I wouldn't. And then as time progressed, I realized how abusive that is, especially in a relationship, if you got to do somebody like that at work, we got ways to work around that. All you got to do at work is only talk to them for business purposes or, you know, if it's business, yeah, we going to talk. If it's not, I don't have nothing to say. But in a relationship, that's not good. For years and years and years, um, I would use that as a coping mechanism and a lot of times as a manipulation tactic. So when I would be in a relationship and my person would start an argument with me, I wouldn't argue back. I would just listen to what they have to say. I would just be quiet and I would, I would not talk to them until they apologized. And I would never allow, y'all know how some people be like, you want to go get something to eat? That's their way of apologizing. Or them buying you something is their way of apologizing. But I would never accept the ap apology unless you verbally came to me and was like, listen, I'm sorry. I know you was just trying to help. I'm sorry. Until you verbally apologize, baby, you could buy me whatever you wanted to. And you could, you could buy all the food in the world. But we were not moving on until you apologized. And so... 
I, I see now where stonewalling, it is a form of abuse. It is. And I also see like when people are very verbally aggressive in their words and they are, you know, very verbally violent, that's a form of abuse. And so don't be verbally abusive and don't weaponize your silence, but absolutely be indifferent. All right, girls. So this is the Conair Infinity Pro. This is the one I was telling y'all about. Girls, y'all have got to get this one. So it comes with like, I think two combs, a blow dryer brush, and then this little contraption. This is my favorite. So this is basically a comb, but each comb kind of has like a air filter type of thing on it. So when you put it in your hair, like if you put it all the way down in here, girl, it dries your scalp. And so I love this so much. And then y'all look at this body. Look at this body this wig has. And then it just makes your hair so freaking shiny. So I needed to uh, come back and show y'all that. But girls, we need to kind of get the dining room, or no, the, the beauty room together. It's not a beauty room. I mean, it's not a dining room, it's a beauty room. So I need to get this together because girls, we have a new mirror. So I wanna move some things around, get this together, get the kitchen together, vacuum clean, and then we're gonna, we're gonna put this mirror together and I'll give you guys more details. Heard about my past, things I used to do, the games I used to play, the girls I didn't last. I know what's on your mind, you think I'm doing wrong. Can I say what is real? You are the only one that taught me. Me talking crazy, I need you all in my space. But I need it, baby, I'm late, but I still can't check in with you. I'd put a string of pearls right in your hand. Make love on the beach of jet black sand Outside in the rain We can do it all night I'll touch all the places he would not Some he never knew would get you high Nothing is forbidden when we touch Baby, did I wanna do Things you may don't do Hey baby With my mind, my heart, my body saying don't, don't listen to what, what people say Yeah Get it up to my head Oh hey It's like you caught up in the maze I'm going in circles, girl Trying to find your way out But it's time I put on my cape And throw that ass on my chest But I'm stuck in the middle of seeking you hurt Knowing you love and want to make you work And I can't help but think that I do you first It's getting louder, girl Can't ignore it no more I 
girls we got a new mirror and it is gorgeous guys this mirror was sent to me by a company uh from amazon so i've already filmed the sponsorship for it but y'all it looks so pretty oh it is so elegant y'all the camera is doing the beauty room absolutely positively no justice girl i wish you guys were here in person to see how pretty it is in here let me see if i turn the uh hold on all right that's a little bit better girl i had to turn on the ring light oh my god so girls the dimension on this mirror the length is 48 and then the height of the mirror is 30. And so I chose this one because I wanted something that was going to be long enough to, uh, you know, fit on top of our console. And yeah, girls, and so this company just reached out to me. Um, and so they really just reached out for some UGC content and that's user generated content. They wanted me to create a 60 second video and they, baby, when I tell you they paid very very well in fact i'm gonna show you guys how to get into the ugc content in just a minute um oh my goodness y'all it looks so pretty oh my god i just feel so i don't know i feel so proud of myself <laughs> oh my gosh it is gorgeous all right girls i hope y'all not getting sick of me but y'all look at the apartment from this angle Oh my God, it looks so pretty. Y'all, this is the lighting. This is how that mirror lights up the entire apartment. I'm, oh my God, I am so in love. Oh my goodness, it just looks so freaking gorgeous in here. Oh my God, y'all, it looked like a showroom. Oh my gosh, y'all, it looks so gorgeous. Guess I was out of sight, out of mind. The seduction for blurred lines drives you out, I guess you doubt me. Pain is your safe space, you run away, got hotels for heartbreak. Your baggage, your flaws are weighing on me. And I can't wait. How much more I can take Babe It's such a shame yeah. Cause you can see a good thing got away But I'm tapped out of patience Why you make me wanna play the home? Cause I can't be the only one All the shit that you done put me through It's easy to 
really love me now? Would you love me if I was down and out? Would you still have love for me, girl? Oh, now Would you love me if I was down and out? Would you still have love for me, girl? show y'all how I make my tuna so let me put this over here because we're gonna make a little drink to a little poppy drink so I like to use the lime and pepper tuna from HEB I use two packages of this I like to use two boiled eggs I like to use a Miracle Whip. Baby, I love Miracle Whip. It is my favorite mayonnaise. I'm a mayonnaise girl, if you guys didn't know that. So, all right. So, not too much. I kind of like to measure it as I go. So, not too, too much. And then I'm going to add a little bit of mustard. Guys, this is honey mustard. So, just a little bit not too much again we're measuring as we go i also like to use sweet relish and then i like to add a little bit of tony saturies not too much just a little bit all right guys and so after i do all of that i literally just take my fork and i just kind of cut everything literally with my fork <laughs> and just like blend it all together and then girls i like to make my um i like to make my uh garlic toast on the stove because i can get it super crispity and crunchity you guys know how i like my stuff crispity and crunchity so i'm actually gonna turn the burner off and just let everything else cook with the heat. I'm gonna put this in the fridge while the garlic bread is cooking. So lately, girls, my favorite drink has been this poppy raspberry rose mixed with uh, Simply Lemonade. So this has been my go-to lately. So I like to add the lemonade first, and then I like to top it off with some poppy. Mm. Oh my God, y'all. Girls, y'all have got to try this. It is so good. All right, girls, and this is my dinner. I know it looks super simple, but y'all, this is so delicious. So again, a little bit of Texas garlic toast. Yeah, Texas garlic toast. I added some olives and then some tuna with my favorite drink. All right, girls. I know y'all heard of the Passport Bros, but baby, we are about to be the Passport Rose, honey. Look, girls, y'all look. Oh my God. Girls, the Passport came so fast. Baby, it came faster than Amazon Prime. You hear me? So, um... It didn't even take a full two weeks. So yeah, girls, I am so excited. So girls, we got to go somewhere soon. But anyway, I just wanted to show y'all that. I know I haven't talked to you girls that much during this video because I've been busy trying to just get content and stuff filmed. So anyway, girls, let's get into UGC content. So girls, UGC content is user generated content and that's really for the girlies who um, maybe not um, are necessarily interested in becoming an influencer or even so much as a dedicated content creator, that's someone that can, you can actually do both, all three if you want to. So you can be a UGC content, cre a UGC creator, a content creator, and an influencer because it just in my opinion and Rochelle's Webster Dictionary, they are three different things. But a UGC creator is basically someone that creates content exclusively for uh, companies. 
so like I was explaining to you guys, so guys, that mirror that we received, uh, a company reached out to me and it was because they wanted me to create um, some content for their Amazon store. So what I decided to do was also incorporate that into my YouTube video as well and just to use it for educational purposes um you know just so you guys can know the possibilities because i know everybody out there does not want to be uh, a dedicated full-time influencer slash content creator so this is for the girlies that also have professional jobs and they just want to do this on the side in addition to that this is for the girlies who don't necessarily want their face out there but they want to get into some of this uh creator economy money honey because the money is great so the first thing you guys are going to do you're going to uh, download an app. The name of the app is called Backstage Underage Adolescence. Anyway, so you're going to download an app called Backstage. That's the first thing you're going to do. So you will then have the opportunity to sign up. Now, Backstage, in fact, I'm going to... Now, guys, I prefer to use Backstage... Um, I prefer to use it on the actual, um, I don't like the app. That's what I'm trying to say. I don't like the app. So I just like to go to the actual full website. So I have already created my backstage page and this is what it's going to look like. So all you're going to do, guys, you're going to type in backstage.com. If that does not come up, you can then type in backstage casting. Um, just to give you guys a little bit of background, backstage was actually an app that you would use or it was a website that you would use to get casted on reality shows, Netflix shows, HBO shows. But as time evolved, they wanted to offer a more robust service and therefore they started adding opportunities for influencers, content creators, and now UGC content creators because that's growing as well. Um, and so, yeah, so you're going to go there. And then after you go to UGC content, they may have an option in the very middle. I hope you guys can see that. And the option is going to say join now. You're going to click on join now. And they have three different subscription services. So they have a service that is $6.26 a month. They have a service that is $19.99 a month. And then they have a service that is $24.97 a month. Now, guys, I selected the plan that was $24.97 a month because I actually had a discount code. And I used the discount code CATH. That's K-A-T-H. I'm going to make sure that I put that across the screen. And I'm going to link this information in the description box as well. So basically, I just simply entered that discount code and I was able to pay $5 for my first month of service because I just wanted to get familiar with the app. All right, and so basically when you do your profile, you'll be asked for your stage name. You will then be asked to put in some other information. Now guys, if you don't have any videos to upload, don't worry about that. Pick up a camera, shoot something, no matter how small, no matter how cheesy, no matter whether your friends and your sister star in it, put your name on it as director. Now you're a director. Um, you can literally go around your house um, and just pretend that you're creating content like you can actually uh, do a video filming guys you can do a video filming this mildew and mold stain remover and so basically you're gonna take your phone and you'll film and you can just say something really catchy um, are you tired of are you tired of dirt and grime around your home? Well, I have the perfect product for you. Then basically you would just simply do a voiceover and that could be you just simply building your portfolio if you really want to get into this. Um, and you can just go around your home and just do that with just basic household things like a Kleenex, a coffee pot, dishwashing liquid anything and you really only have to create like a three second a, a third i would do like i would start off doing like 30 second videos and i would do like four 30 second videos and upload the stuff onto uh, my portfolio now that's for my girlies who don't necessarily have a youtube channel in my case 
Um, I have a YouTube channel, so it was fairly easy for me. So basically, I created a profile. I never got an opportunity to upload any videos or anything like that because as soon as I created my profile the next day, I started getting hits from companies because they were able to go and look at my YouTube channel and then companies started reaching out. Now, granted, I did have a few companies that asked me to do uh, promotional work without pay and I said no, but what I did, instead of me just taking them at face value, I still asked for pay and some companies complied and others did not well um, this mirror company they just came out of the blue I don't even know how they <laughs> found me but um, they basically paid me a very attractive fee for a 60 second commercial and so yeah but if you want to get started guys backstage is absolutely where you're gonna get started after you create your profile you'll be given the opportunity to uh, apply for different jobs you can literally drill down to anything that you want to do now you can do gender which is typically the filters that I use so I use gender I use location within 50 miles of Houston I actually let me correct myself I use a uh, remote home because all of the content that I'm gonna create I'm gonna make sure that I'll be able to create it from my home um so you select your location compensation they have the option that says any we don't we not working for no any we working for paid so you're gonna make sure that you select y'all see hold on oh I hope it's not gosh so you're gonna select paid when it says production type guys you're gonna select UGC so when you after you select UGC um, you can select unboxing social media review testimonial how-to videos I'm gonna select all because I feel comfortable doing all of that after I saved my search my first opportunity popped up and so one of the opportunities that it gave me is supplement gummies mom's ad so I'm gonna hit view details and apply all right so basically what it does it tells you that they're looking for a woman they want the woman to be between the ages of 38 and 45 and they tell you um, for consideration include any UGC examples if possible if you don't have any examples please record a short video so you can do that and so what I like to do is look at the compensation before I apply so guys this compensation is approximately $100 and it is for one hour of work and that is a flat rate. I would not accept a deal for $100 for one hour. Um, that's just not enough money. So guys, there is nothing wrong with starting off at $100 to do UGC content because if you do enough of these, then the money adds up because they, they really shouldn't take that long. But you could probably do 10 UGC ads a month and that's $1,000. But keep in mind, guys, as you get better at this, your rate is going to increase. But anyway, so that's just a little background about UGC content. Guys, once I signed up for this website, it just feels like other companies started to find me and reach out to me. And that's just kind of how we got the ball rolling. But I'm going to make sure that I put all of the details in the description box below, as well as the link to back page. And by the way, guys, this is not sponsored. I just wanted to throw that out there. Uh, but yeah, I just thought that it would be important that I share this with you because girls, my, whether you're a content creator girly, a YouTube girly, a TikTok girly, there is more ways than one to skin a cat. And if I can help you get you know, to the bag faster and give you the knowledge to get there, I'm more than willing to do so. If you're over 40 and you're looking for UGC work, you have to get on backstage right now. The over 40 market is super hot. I'm not kidding you when I say this. There are so many listings right now for over 40. Let me show you some listings. And if you're not familiar with Backstage, it's a casting app and they put out thousands of listings daily. They usually have actors and models and voiceovers and crew, and now they have a UGC category. Okay, you're gonna spin that wheel like the Wheel of Fortune until you get to 40. Then you'll click production type. Then you'll see user generated content. How cool is that? Then click the ones that apply to you. And check it out. 
40s, 50s, and beyond. All are needed for health, fitness, beauty, insurance, all kinds of categories. All right, if there are any of you girls wondering about this cute little one piece girls, I got this at Ross. This is a size small, but I have a short torso. So I wish they would have had it in an extra small because I have to kind of <laughs> pull it up. But y'all, this is so cute. So this is a one piece workout outfit and I love it so much. But um, I don't know if I would work out in it because of me having to constantly pull it up. But this is something just really cute and comfy that you can wear around the house. I've had this on all day and it's just so cute to like clean up in and look really cute in girls so i wanted to show y'all this and i think this was like 12.99 and yeah i think it was 12.99 so i got this and then i'm gonna show you girls some really cute pieces that i got from asos all right girls i probably should try this stuff on but guys i am tired like i said i've been filming all day so what i'll probably do is just pop the picture up on the side like I've done in the past. And eventually we will get back to the try on hauls where I'm actually trying the stuff on. But anyway, so this first outfit, first of all, let me just say this, all of this stuff was under $100. I believe I paid like $98 for everything. So that was a great deal. Uh, ASOS had an additional 30% off sale and I could not resist. It's about to get kind of warm outside and I wanted to have some really cute pieces. You know as we will be doing more things and i just wanted to look cute as we do more things but anyway so the first item is this gorgeous silk slash matte satin dress guys this is absolutely gorgeous and it is so freaking flattering on my complexion i love it because it does have the extra long ties all the way around the waist um so yeah it's two extra long ties um the straps are not adjustable but the front is just high enough so it doesn't show too much of your boobs and then um it does go a little bit past the knees it is just gorgeous all right guys so this next outfit is so freaking cute it is literally like a matte kind of like a matte satin t-shirt cropped honey y'all get into this so freaking cute so this is a super cute crop tee well it's like a t-shirt let me say this it's a blouse but it's t-shirt style and when i tell you this color the camera is doing the color no justice so that's the top and these are the pants very girl y'all these pants are very flattering but guys i bought them in a size six and i should have bought a four so that was my fault. I should have got them a little bit smaller because they are oversized. The top is a four and it's a little bit oversized. So I probably could have gotten a size two, but that's okay. So the top was $18 and the pants were also $18. Um, and then again, guys, an additional 30% off. I cannot wait to wear this. It's going to be so cute. Y'all, this fits so freaking cute. Oh my God so it is this really cute skirt it has a long split up the back so you have the split up the back which i'm not crazy about but that's okay and then um you just have the fitted waistline with the two pockets guys this skirt is a size four asos things run a little bit big i have a little bit of room on the waistline but that's okay but it fits so freaking cute girl and so guys this is kind of like a micro houndstooth fabric it is so cute but wait there's more baby get into this vest okay baby the vest is cropped and it shows off your cute tiny little waistline y'all when i tell you i cannot wait to wear this outfit girls this is so freaking cute i think i got the vest in a size a u.s size eight i really should have got a six but again that's okay because sometimes girl these boobs be having a mind of their own but this fits really really cute i cannot wait to wear it um i want to say the skirt was 18 dollars and the the vest was 15 dollars, and then there was an additional 30 percent off 
And then last but not least, we purchased this really gorgeous dress. All right, so y'all, this dress is so sexy. So it is very, very long. And then of course you have this uh, like lace, sheer lace um, on the upper thigh part. And then it is, it crisscrossed in the back. And then it has the sexy V in the, the sexy V neck in the front. So cute. I love this and I cannot wait to wear this. It is so sexy. Guys, this dress was $44 with an additional 40% off. And so, yeah, I got a great deal on all of this stuff. I'm really, really excited. So, I cannot wait. Some of this stuff, well, I know I wanted to wear this dress on vacation. Like I'm trying to plan me like a cute little, you know, a cute little vacation or whatever. And so anyway, girls, I am about to start unwinding y'all. It is, let me see. Y'all, it's 1.22 and I'm tired. But anyway, girls, let me unwind and then um, I'll give you guys a call back when I get in the bed. Y'all, y'all know they saying Kylie Jenner is down to the thing going broke because she overspent like money and not only did she overspend they saying like the things that she was able to acquire whether she paid for them full out she has to pay maintenance on that so they were just saying that financially financially she's hemorrhaging and then they were also saying like as TikTok become like as more and more people join TikTok over the years like they're not gonna want to see like all of this un unobtainable wealth if you will like what people would deem is unobtainable and so they were saying like back in the day like Kylie Jenner could have sold her 70 million dollar mansion someone else could have bought it and the flex would have been oh I'm living in Kylie Jenner's mansion but people just don't do that anymore and he, the guy was talking about how Jeffree Star took forever to sell his house and he was finally happy that the house sold and after he sold the house he packed his shit up and moved to Wyoming girl and so anyway he was just saying like how now people are even even if you're living a life of luxury it's still uh, sometimes some people still live a can still live a relatable realistic life and still have luxury in the life or whatever and that made me think about when I used to do Uber Eats. You guys know that I used to drive for Amazon Flex. I did Uber Eats and I did DoorDash. But anyway, girls, when I used to drive for Uber Eats, girl, y'all. So in Houston and or around Houston, or uh, uh, the outskirts of Houston are just gated communities. I don't know if you girls know this, but sometimes in gated communities, they have gates behind the gates. So what that means is once you enter the gates, a gated community you enter that and then you're going to have access to certain homes well then as you drive through the neighborhood within that neighborhood they got more gates in that neighborhood but then those homes are like the multi-million dollar homes like those are even more expensive girls when i used to go into go through the gates behind the gates guys the people that were living in those homes I keep telling y'all this, the Caribbeans and the uh, the African girls, y'all, they chew-chewing. They is chew-chewing on everybody. I'm telling y'all, it was the Caribbeans and it was the Africans, non-African American, but just like Africans living behind those gates. But So they live behind the, the gates behind the gates. And so another thing about them is that when you would go into the the gates behind the gates guys they lived in compounds they didn't just live in like a mansion it was a compound in addition to that it was multi-family like they whole family living in a compound and so i think about how people try to shame girls or guys that are in their 30s or late 20s and they still live at home but guys a lot of these families like african families caribbean families asian families indian families it is normal for you to still live at home if you don't have your own family and sometimes even if you do if your family owns a compound then it is normal for you guys to live on that compound so i don't understand the shaming but anyway so those are the people that are 
the uh, that are living the gates behind the gates. Another thing that I noticed about that is when you drive to the to those areas and you get access to those uh, the gates behind the gates, um, y'all. These people are not driving these super uber luxury cars, guys. These people are driving Hondas, Volvos. These people are driving just nice cars that are gonna last within or stand the test of time like toyotas they're driving just normal everyday cars now as far as what they do i don't know because one thing they not doing is having no long conversation with you like when i went to <laughs> well with me when i was driving for for uh uber eats i went to the the first house where all that those Car that caribbean family lived and they gave very explicit and um very like I'm just going to say like very explicit, like, um, oh, what word should I use? Very descriptive, detailed instructions on how they wanted you to pull up on their house. They was like, park here, do this, uh, do this, do this, do this. Do not knock on the door, baby. They didn't want you knocking on the door. They don't want you coming up the sidewalk or whatever. And so, of course, with me, I'm, I follow directions because I didn't want no problems and I wanted my tip. But yeah, girl, so, you know, when you start talking about quiet, I don't know if you guys have heard of this quiet luxury thing. Guys, I'm telling y'all just from my own experience, just from working in corporate America, driving for Uber Eats, guys, I'm telling y'all, the people are driving for Uber Eats, driving for Amazon, doing DoorDash, the people who have true long, um, the people who have true wealth, the people who have a long history of wealth, they call the people who have the blue, the blue blood money. Those are not people out here stunting. Those are not people out here with the flashy stuff. Guys, these are, these are quiet. This is quiet wealth. You know what I'm saying? They move about uh, life like everyone else. You see, these are people that you probably see at the grocery store every day. These are people who are just driving a normal car. You see these people at the bookstore. And also, guys, a lot of times, and I don't know if you guys know this, but in your in your uh, office, there are people who are secret, secret millionaires who, who still work an everyday job. I worked with a guy who was a millionaire, but he was an older guy and he worked his entire life and he wasn't ready to stop working. And uh, he had millions of dollars and he enjoyed getting up, having structure, going to work every day. Granted, he had a very high level executive position with the company, um, but he was fairly wealthy. And so you just never know. But I'm just telling y'all like all of this Kylie Jenner and all of the, you know what I'm saying? Like having a private plane and $70 million on this and $80 million on this very wealthy people do not spend their money that way very wealthy people use their money as a tool to grow more money very wealthy people sometimes don't even use their own money they'll use your money to get more money i'm telling you girls but anyway i could go on and on and on but i won't Guys, I don't know if this is going to be the end of the vlog. Um, I want the vlog to be an hour long. So if I don't have enough footage, I'll pick you guys back up in the morning. And uh, we'll probably do some rock star resume tips and do some other stuff around the house. And then from there, we may close the vlog out. But anyway, girls, I'll call y'all back in the morning. <laughs>